Hello, everybody, and thank you again today for joining us for another TTRPG Talk Short. This series takes a look at tabletop role-playing games and related materials in short form. In today's TTRPG Talk Short, we're going to be taking a look at a game that is embracing some of the different ways that tabletop role-playing games have been used over the course of the many years the genre has existed. Tabletop role-playing games, of course, go far beyond basic entertainment. They also help the players who are using them to explore unfamiliar social situations and life experiences. But role-playing games can also help us teach people practical skills. Combining these together, some TTRPG materials have been coming out recently, uh, can be used as teaching tools or support tools for people in emotionally compromising situations or who are neurologically atypical, myself included. Uh, one of these that has recently come out is Let It Go by Diogo Nuguera. This uh, is one of a series of games that Diogo has recently been releasing that is in a business card format. This particular game attempts to try to help people deal with particularly difficult situations, especially if you suffer from issues like anxiety, control issues, or experience decision paralysis when, whenever something overwhelming happens. This tool slash game is actually quite simple. On one side of the business card, we have the, the rules, which I will explain in just a moment. But on the other side of the business card, it is actually mostly blank. Instead, there are two columns, one labeled out of my control and the other labeled within my control. The basic idea is that whenever you encounter a problematic situation, you start by sitting down in order to contemplate and grab a pin. On the out of my control column, you write down all of the things about this situation that are completely outside of your control. Things that you have no influence on, no matter what you would have done or could do in the future to help resolve the situation. Then on the other side, you write down all of the things that you do have at least some control over. The third step is then to rip the card in half along the line dividing the two columns throw the out of my control part away, and then do the best you can with what's left on the part of the card that you kept. This, of course, is where the name of the game comes from. You are realizing the bits of the situation that are outside of your control, and you are literally letting them go. Some of you who may be familiar with philosophy um, might notice that there are some connections here to certain schools of thought. In designing this, Diogo mainly drew from the school of Stoicism um, in the process of, of using what you could call a, basically a crisis management tool. Uh, you can realize the elements that you could do nothing about in the moment or in the future and start instead working on what you can control or do, a, do stuff about instead of becoming uh, paralyzed uh, potentially catastrophizing, or becoming extremely upset about things outside of your influence. This is certainly something that I'm going to attempt using in the future myself, uh, and I'm sure that we all honestly probably have had times where we certainly could have used a tool like this. Thank you all for joining me again for this TTRPG Talk Short and I certainly hope that you will find it useful. Links, as always, can be found in the description below. Do not forget to subscribe and ring the bell in order to get future installments, and remember to rate your itch purchases. If you would like to show your support for this channel or for the Hessens County blog, in the description down below, you will find links to the channel coffee and also the itch store. Please feel free to take a look, and thank you for your support.